downwards to your vagina hand, not like this. Like this. Not like this, like this. Towards your vagina hand. And then the lateral part. Uh, any tenderness or any uh, mass, you check. Lah. So, uh, and then you take out your hand. <laughs> yang, yang masuk tu kena gerak-gerak. Ah, gerak lah. Masa you buat manual tu, you palpit lah. Inside. Ada spesifik benda kena cari? Uh, pathology lah. <laughs> Baik. You rasa lah, uh, kalau selalu, selalunya if dia macam ada polyps ke apa-apa yang macam... Then you describe lah. Uh, you describe lah. Normally, uh, you can feel only rugi kan, hmm. kalau uh, vagina. Hmm. And then the cervix, uh, check lah sikit. Uh, that's all I think. Then, yeah, that's another one is rectal. <laughs> rectal is actually uh, not really necessary. I asked the husband, they said it's not really necessary. But if you suspect uh, presence of poly or cancer of the rect, uh, let's say colon, or maybe the, uh, the patient is virgin, uh, you cannot uh, feel the uh, pelvic organ from the vagina, you, you do the rect uh, rectal examination. Uh. Or maybe let's say you suspect uh, endometriosis in uterosacral ligament, and then you do this one, rectal, uh, rectal examination. How you do? You insert one hand, one one finger, your index finger inside the rectum. Okay, you insert inside the rectum, and then you feel. You do uh, anti-clockwise motion, and then you uh, clockwise motion. Uh, feel for any bulging. Any polyps? Anti clockwise, anti clockwise. Uh, anti -clockwise. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter if you masuk from here, then you do like this. Kalau you masuk from here, normally like this lah. And then the other hand on the abdomen also. Ah, uh, yang tu kalau you nak check uh, uh, pathology, kalau you you cannot feel all the pelvic uh, abdomen, then you you press lah like the by manual. But if you want to feel inside only, then no need lah. Uh, and uh, I forgot the foundation uh, for chest. You uh, one more thing beside all pelvic examination, all the abdomen examination. One more thing is breast examination. So Fatima will explain about that. Okay. So for breast examination, usually <laughs> 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 breast examination you do in a uh, lying position if the patient is not well. But it's, it's actually better to do it in sitting position. So in many cases, patient is taking a vision. Okay. So you stand in, in front of the patient and then you ask, ask her to lower her clothes. Ah, okay. Lower her clothes. Okay. And then, and then you tell her that you're going to uh, inspect the breast. Okay. So first position, there are four main positions of inspection of breast. Are you need to become compressed to Okay. First, you ask the patient to lower both of the hands, and then you see uh, the breast, both breasts, and then you just describe uh, the color. If there's any scarring, excoriation, discoloration, or pigmentation, or any mastectomy scar previously, and then second, you ask the patient to lift their hand above their head. Okay, and at this motion also, you still inspect the patient because different position can uh, produce different lumps or different changes. Okay, the third one, you <coughs> ask the patient to put their hands against their hip and lean slightly forward. Okay, at this position, usually the pectoral muscle goes forward. So, usually lump is more visible in this position. And last, slightly more forward. Okay, and then you still see at this position. Okay, just normal inspection. You can see Okay, and then you continue with lymph node palpation. Okay. So lymph node palpation is like uh, what Nabiha told. So anterior, posterior and medial. Mm -hmm. So you ask the patient to relax your arm. And then you take your fingers and then you put under here and you do it in circular motion to feel if there's any enlargement of the lymph node. Okay, so for posterior, you change your you can either change your hand or not. And then this one. You do towards posteriorly and then medially. Okay. Yeah, just remember to check the both lines. Okay. Okay. And then um, after that, uh, if there's any lymph node, you just describe the 
size of tenderness, whether it's warm, the mobility. Okay, and then, then you continue with clinical breast examination. Okay, um, clinical breast Okay, clinical <laughs> breast examination. Yeah, uh, usually you, you ask the patient to lie down. Okay. Oh, so um, you uh, after you've done um, the instruction, you just ask the patient to cover up their breast again. Bantam, bantam. Nada. Okay. And then, which uh, breast you will be checking? You ask the patients to put their hands. Uh, example, I'm checking her left breast. So put your hand below your head. Left, uh, uh, left, left hand below her. Okay. And then uh, there is three ways of palpation, um, which is um, grid motion. No one. Okay, grid motion is like this is the breast. You just do yeah, palpation grip mm -hmm. pattern. This is it? Grip pattern. Oh, up and down. Ah, up oh, and down. Uh, okay. okay. And then there's clock pattern from central, from the nipple to lateral. Just pop it. But you when you pop it, it press quite high. Lah. Okay, and then uh, circle. Circle is from central to lateral. Okay, do it on both uh, sides. And whenever you change, just change the, um, the position of arm below the head. Okay, and then um, uh, one more thing, you must check the excretion of, from the nipple. So this one usually ask the patient to do it herself because she might not be comfortable with you pressing her nipple. So what you do is, like, uh, you just ask her to like, cheat, right? From superior, inferior macam ni, then dengan like, dari lateral dengan medium macam ni. So, both you check, masa patient to picit, you just check for any excretion lah. Okay, and then, um, uh, okay. Oh, usually, uh, clinical breast examination ni, if um, it's according to four quadrants lah. So, it's um, upper lateral, lower lateral, medial, and medial lower lower medial lower uh, upper medial. medial okay so uh, whatever presence of any lumps or anything you describe according to the region and then usually this one if you uh, presence of any lump you just straight away go for mammogram mm -hmm. and then um, oh and then you must ask the patient if she's having a period because during period there is hormonal changes so even if presence of any lump it's maybe due to breast engorgement or any changes during hormonal changes during her period and then you can, you just ask the patient whether she does her self-breast examination regularly and then whether she had previous uh, examination of her breast. Tima, Tima. Tima. Do you do it like every time when the patient comes for checkup or only when specifically or to datang for breast examination? Oh, breast examination. Specifically. Like if during gyne, gyne patient yang datang, you may it's included. Yeah, it's included. Oh, it's included. So, three methods that you show right just now, is it obligatory to use all three or choose three one? You, or you can choose one. Just choose one. Usually, yang you're not going to be circular. Mm -hmm. But let's say you're doubtful, you can just add other side. Uh, really? Cuma kan, uh, setiap kali you palpate which breast kan, contoh you palpate the breast left, you must cover tau right breast too. Macam patient tak boleh, macam for sake of patient punya comfortability kot. So, bila you nak check yang ni, yang ni tutup. And then, bila you nak check ni, yang ni tutup. Macam tu lah. Just, mm -hmm. tu then, lah. But then, if you close already, you can't see any asymmetrical when you, you already did it. Masa, masa inspection, then you buat tu. Look at four positions and inspection. Uh, one more thing before uh, you check the patient for pelvic examination, it's better uh, for you to ask the patient to empty the bladder to get better results. Uh, in penuh then, for mass, no, it'll be for the mass. Uh, all the pelvic examination, 